Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can troubleshoot the different Mac crash screens for the latest Intel Macs and Apple Silicon Macs. But first off, here's a quick message from today's sponsor Wondershare with their Recover It software. You've deleted some photos off a USB stick by accident? Recover It allows a macOS user to recover them, having a free scan feature to review which files to recover first, such as photos, videos or other documents. Now that we've finished scanning the drive, we can select which files we want to recover and the specific destination for it. Recover It also allows the end user to rescue data from crashed devices or corrupted SD cards, Ultra HD video recovery, and aiding in repairing corrupted video files. The download link is in the description of this video and you can try this program for free. Now, let's go straight into the crash screens. The first crash screen that we're going to be looking at is for Intel Max, and that is the question mark folder. The main reason behind this screen is because the Mac firmware is unable to detect a bootable device, mainly the system drive. And that could be due to various factors, such as if the SSD itself is corrupt. The general solution to this is either reinstall Mac OS, or you would have to replace the internal SSD. The next screen that we're going to be looking at is the prohibitory sign. Now, there are two main reasons that this could happen and whether it would show up. So the first reason is if the macOS bootloader, known as iBoot, is unable to detect the macOS kernel or kernel extensions, which would result in this almost immediately upon the Apple logo showing up. The other reason is during startup, if there's an Apple logo with progress bar that switches to this, it means that the macOS kernel is unable to detect the startup device and therefore cannot continue loading. The general solution in this situation is to simply reinstall macOS. Next up, we have one of the most iconic Mac crash screens and that is known as the kernel panic. A kernel panic means the entire system has run into a problem and needs to restart. So we have the kernel panic prompt over here where it says your computer restarted because of a problem. Press a key or wait a few seconds to continue starting up. And it shows it in various languages as well. Now generally, if a kernel panic happens, the computer will automatically restart. However, if it continues to happen constantly, you may need to take your device into Apple support because it can be due to various factors such as either software or hardware failure. Next up, we have the connect to power screen, which only applies to MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. The main reason behind this screen is just like its iOS counterpart, the Mac does not have enough battery to start up and therefore it would show this screen instead of the Apple logo. Now the obvious solution to this is to charge your Mac or take it in for a battery replacement if the battery itself is having issues. Now the next screen that we have is the low battery charging screen, which means the device is charging, however, it still does not have enough power to properly turn on. So you would have to wait in this instance. Now for Apple Silicon Max, we have a unique crash screen, which is basically known as recovery mode. The reason why this screen shows up is because the Mac is unable to access the normal recovery environment, which means you would have to put the Mac into DFU mode and restore it using Apple Configurator 2. So that was the basic troubleshooting of some of the various modern Mac crash screens. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.